Hey, it's Chris here. I wanted to give you an update on our home reno app. So as you can see, we've got a little bit more working now. You can select the room type, you can select the design style, and then we're going to hit generate. So now I'm going to skip forward in this demo video that I've got on the screen so that you don't have to wait for the generation. And here we are, the generated design. So as you can see, we've come a long way since the last vlog. And that is partly because we have moved to AI coding for this demo because, and it almost feels like blasphemy to say this, but I told the team, I want this out the door as fast as possible. I don't want a properly engineered app that we're going to take months to build because I just want to test the idea. I don't want to invest all of this time and effort into this thing before we even know if it could take off. So before we talk about AI coding, let me mention one thing, and it's that ChatGPT had this update, I think a week ago, where it can now do those renovation style transformations right inside ChatGPT. And I wish that this had come out a month earlier because it would have saved us so much time. But at this point, I don't think it's worth for us to change from using the replicate model that we're using right now, at least at this point, in the, in the pursuit of trying to release this as quick as possible and just get our foot out the door, I am not going to go backwards and retool. So perhaps in a future update, we may do this, but let's talk about the AI coding stuff because since I learned about this workflow to use cursor for iOS app development, and essentially you're creating a project plan with all the features and you're telling cursor to build it step by step, you know, all that vibe coding stuff and it works. You know, and I found this tool, which allowed me to generate designs. So let me show you what that looks like here. UX pilot did this in like five minutes. I mean, it's not the most creative <laughs> styling, but it does make the app not look stock and default. You know what I mean? So this took maybe about five minutes of generation to do. And I was able to build a demo from cursor incorporating these designs in about this took about two days and it's an app that you can choose a photo and remove the background and then you can download it. So this was for a keyword called remove BG. Ah, I can't find it, but it's one of the keywords we identified using Astro. And if you are curious about that process of finding good keywords to target, check out our video right over there where I show you how to do that. But coming back to the whole AI coding thing, you know, there's definitely pros and cons that I've discovered. It's not a perfect process, but the ability to just quickly test out ideas, I think is gold. And it completely changes the game for indie app developers because it's really hard to know which apps you should build in order to make money. And I think if you're able to build apps in a couple of days for each idea, just to test the waters, like an MVP style, then that would be great. The code, you don't care about the code because it's just an MVP and you don't care so much about the design because again, it's an MVP, but it allows you to get your foot out the door. And I kind of have mixed feelings about this, what I'm doing, because honestly, I went to school for computer science. I've been teaching coding for like the last 10 years. And then, and I'm sure designers out there seeing stuff like this as well, it's just, it's not a good feeling, you know what I mean? Because you spend so much time perfecting your craft and honing your craft and just have AI spit out subpar stuff like this and then just people fawning all over it and using it is kind of a bad feeling. But I can't argue with context. I think you have to really put it into context, right? Because for example, if you're trying to just do a demo or an MVP or something, you can't argue with speed. But if you are trying to build like a legitimate app that is scalable, you know, that you are going to build a company off of, it's going to be like the backbone of your new business, then I don't know if you can rely on these tools 100%. I think it's a great starting point though, right? To be able to quickly get to market, test ideas without investing too much effort. And if it starts, the market starts responding to it, then 
that is when I would feel confident bringing on the right people to build it the right way. At least that's my thinking. So yeah, in discovering this workflow and this process, I am actually very optimistic about this journey, about being able to eventually get to that profitable stage just by continually testing out these different keywords and ideas and seeing which one sticks and then reinvesting effort and time into the one that gains traction. Okay, so if you're interested in how this journey is going to unfold, please subscribe, hit like on the video and stay tuned for future vlogs.